Mr. President, I'm Asimov, a humanoid robot. It is a pleasure to meet you. Ten years ago, President Barack Obama visited Japan and met Osimo, a cutting-edge humanoid robot. Now, in 2024, driven by advances in AI, sensors, actuators, and batteries, humanoid robots have evolved into something very, very different. Like many others out there, you may have never seen a humanoid robot up close and personal before. But according to Goldman Sachs, they'll soon be a $38 billion industry with an estimated 250,000 robots shipped by the year 2030, each with its own unique purpose. Soldiers have to withstand some of the harshest conditions. So between 2009 and 2011, Boston Dynamics created and developed Petman to test chemical suits and protective gear used by troops. Petman was able to walk, bend, and crawl just like a real soldier. But Petman was only the beginning of Boston Dynamics' humanoid evolution. Boston Dynamics set their sights on ways robotics technology could help the growing need for disaster relief. And in 2013, over a decade of hydraulic humanoid robotic work culminated in the creation of a 6 feet 2 inch tall 330 pound humanoid named Atlas. Over the years, engineers made improvements to Atlas. The next version was five feet tall, engineered to operate outdoors and inside. The natural movements of Boston Dynamics humanoids were the result of their founder's philosophy. For me, taking a dynamic approach where you think about what's the evolution of the motion of the thing going to be uh, in the future and having a prediction of that that's used at the time that you're giving signals to it as opposed to it all being servoing, which is servoing is sort of backward looking. It says, okay, where am I now? I'm going to, I'm going to try and adjust for that. But you really need to think about what's coming. And what was coming for Boston Dynamics was retiring their hydraulic Atlas and replacing it with a fully electric version. The electric Atlas will be stronger at most of its joints than an elite human athlete and will have a range of motion that exceeds anything a person can do. Also for its head, the engineers took inspiration from one of the most beloved children's entertainment brands on Earth. Boston Dynamics may focus on highly agile and dynamic robots, but it's another company, humanoid robot startup Figure AI, founded in 2022 that focuses on advanced human-like interaction. Humans work hard at their jobs, especially in warehouses. Their idea is that having humanoids to help humans will free us up to do more things we love. The first version of Figure's humanoid is operated by batteries and electric motors. It has multiple cameras for perception systems. And after a year of work, Figure hit a milestone. They walked their dynamic humanoid, but that's only the beginning. Figure wants their humanoids to do everything a human can do, including sitting in a chair and operating machinery tools. We're really focused here on delivering a really high quality hardware platform and then basically building a high level AI system on board that can continuously improve the systems and the robot learning over time. As movements and performance evolves, the robots can progress from basic lifting and carrying tasks to more advanced functions. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Boston Dynamics and Figure are just two companies in a very competitive landscape. And as AI technology advances, humanoids will evolve in many new and exciting ways. So if we are to adopt Mark Raybert's philosophy, we must predict now what humanoids will evolve into in order to make their future our reality. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.